Hey guys, Derek McGrath here, otherwise known as Cole Hunter Nelson. Yes, I'm giving my real name, mostly because I want to say to you guys that I'm talking about a foundation called Angel's Hands. For most of you who don't know, and I'm probably guessing a lot of you, if you don't live in the area of Utah, Angel's Hands is a foundation for kids with rare diseases. It's something that I'm actually a part of as an Angel's Hands kid. No, I don't have a rare disease. No, I'm not going to die within a couple of months. It's not like that. It's autism, really. I'm autistic, as well as ADD and ADHD. <sighs> yeah, <laughs> messed up in the head, ain't I? But, as you can see on the screen, that the person who I'm going to highlight in a little bit, his name is Mark Christensen. He's the president and founder of Angel's Hands. Thing is, is that he's my teen skills and U.S. history teacher. He actually teaches at my school, um... As a special ed teacher, which I'm part of. And, well, I just want to say that what he's, what he has started, um, what he's done with Angel's Hands, it's really, frankly, it's a really good thing. I can't describe how I feel feel for this within a video I can't describe it um, in words really all I can say is that I agree with everything that's being done and well I the, Mark Christensen he's actually a really nice guy um, he's one of those people that even if you're angry you at like at everybody you just want to be angry you can't be angry at him you just it it's just like something in your body that tells you that no this isn't right you're not allowed to feel this way about this person you're not allowed to be angry at this person you can be angry about everyone else but not him and well he's helped me with a lot of things he jokes around with me a lot um he'll um tease me and about uh being late to class when just either a i got i woke up too late or it just traffic uh down getting to the school was really bad so that's why i became i was late he'd joke anyways uh but it was all in for good fun and you can respect people like that Sorry, this is actually really touching me. If you can't hear, I'm actually getting very emotional right now. I'm actually having tears run down my face. I... Everything about this foundation, about this charity, is worth it. They... I actually know of a couple of the kids uh, who are part of it. Because they go to my school and are in the special ed unit as well. And I want to say that if you're interested, or if I've managed to sell it to you guys, that this is a charity worth going to, worth supporting. If you live in the Utah area, area I urge you to, well to go out and volunteer there's contact information on the about us to get to mark and he just try to do your best donate money if you have some leftover money donate it it's a good thing even this, especially since this is non-profit he doesn't get paid for this even though he could take for himself quite a nice paycheck he doesn't he does this for us he does it for all the kids 
with diseases, disabilities, and frankly, that makes that person, people like that, m become a shining beacon of hope for me. Yeah, this is a diff. Just comment, like, subscribe, and if you don't believe me, enjoy this firework display. Kaboom.